Hey everybody, welcome back to the Collector's Outpost. I am John and today I'm excited because we're taking a look at the Hot Toys 1-6 scale daddy of all Fets and clones, Django Fett. Let's get at it. All right, so we're not gonna spend too much time here because this is the box and I wanna get inside. So this is the front. In the inside, we have this beautiful piece of artwork that I really wish they would give us posters for to put on the wall. And digging one more layer down, we have Django Fett himself. You can see he's got uh, an extra piece of a helmet. He's got a great head sculpt. The head sculpt is fantastic on this. Um, flames, blasters, and stuff like that. So let's get all this out. As I'm unboxing this, I'm noticing that at the bottom, I just want to point out that this is where they store the two jetpacks. It's awesome that it comes with two versions of this. Taking a look at the accessories, they give us four extra hands, a tube-shaped container, a lock beaker, field security overloader. Then we have two blasters, the flame effect for the flamethrower on his gauntlet. Then we have a piece of the gauntlet here that you could change out, and this kind of grappling hook on the rope. It's so great that they gave us the two rocket packs, one with all the, the nice colors of the yellows and the reds, and the other one that's more of the navy blue and metal. Then we've got the Calm Link, which is made out of rubber. We have a great head sculpt and an extra cap for the top of the helmet. And just like the Anakin Skywalker Clone Wars figure, uh, he comes with a nice navy blue poncho. I'll put it on just so you guys can see it. I don't think I'm personally going to use it, but maybe I will somewhere along the line just to get a different pose out of it. All right, let's get up close and personal with the rocket pack. You can see all the paint variations and the weathering and the grit in the corners. Really great paint job on this thing. I'm really digging the fact that we have two rocket packs. I am very up in the air on which one I actually want to use, but this rocket pack takes a page out of the Boba Fett figure and you could pop off the rocket, throw on one of these flame effects here, which I do wish had an LED in it, and you can pop that back on top and you have a launching rocket right out of the pack. And like we've seen in the past with all the Mandalorian figures, we have the fire that comes right out of the bottom of the rocket. They do these so well with this translucent kind of plastic and paint and everything. It really does look like fire. But I do feel that if they were to get some LEDs in there and be able to light them up on the inside, this thing would just jump out at you. These exhaust pipes at the bottom are adjustable so you can move them around a little bit, uh, which you cannot do on the other rocket pack. You will be able to insert these flames into the other pack but uh, the bottom exhaust pipes here, like these, won't be able to move. Now the second rocket pack, you can't move the exhaust pipes here, but you can peg in the flames to it, which is great. So you can uh, pick which one fits you or your pose the best. Um, if you want one that matches your color scheme of the outfit, this is the way to go. It's very clean, not a whole lot of weathering like the other one. This one is a little bit more streamlined, it's a little bit smaller, matches the outfit. And it really won't stand out as much as the other one. The other one has the, the big rocket on it and the bright color, so this will blend in a lot better. Moving on to the communicator headpiece. This is actually made out of a really soft rubber. So let's grab the head sculpt and we'll pop that on there. Now, be careful for a number of reasons. Number one, this is a soft plastic and you don't want to rip it and tear it and stuff like that. And you also don't want to ruin and scratch anything on the head sculpt paintwork because uh, that would suck real bad. <laughs> Now, I think that looks awesome. Um, I don't think I'd ever use it, but it's a really cool piece to have. And if you photograph toys a lot, this is a really good piece just to create another scene. And here we got the top swappable helmet piece that has the dent in it. Now, I have not seen those movies in a long time, and I don't remember where or when he gets this dent. Maybe it's during that fight that him and Obi-Wan has, but uh, on the inside, it's a magnet, so it's super simple. You just grab the figure, just pop this top right off. Now it looks like a Lego. <laughs> so, and then put the dented piece right on. Super, super easy. Thank the Lord for magnets. On the gauntlet over here, you could take this piece on the side off and it just slips right out. And we have the swappable piece right here that kind of looks like the Batman gauntlet a little bit. And it's very easy, you just slip that right back up the sleeve. It has a little nubbin on the side that you could see and you just pop that right into the gauntlet right there and there you go. All right, let's talk about this for a second because I'm really not sure what the point of this is. The rocket packs are magnetic and then they have two clips here that you hook them into. Now, I've tried hooking them into there, but it's such a pain in the ass and both rocket packs are magnetic. So what's the point of these clips? I'm not really sure. 
And I really don't think that the Boba Fett figures that have recently come out have those clips on it. I think they were just magnetic. So, not really sure what the point of this is. And last but not least, we've seen this a hundred times with Hot Toys figures. Um, they give us the, the typical Star Wars flight stand and a Jango Fett nameplate. Let's take a look at one of the most classic helmets in cinema. We've got a beautiful chrome finish with all the pitting and weathering underneath here. We've got different navy blue variations to add some color and depth around the edges there. Look at all this grit and pitting that they put into this helmet. They, they put a lot of work into this. We got the visor that comes up and down. Now this armor has a beautiful chrome finish to it. A lot of pitting around the edges over this navy blue flight suit and pleather vest. And then down to the Django utility belt. It is made out of pleather. I do wish this was sculpted because uh, I do worry that this is going to fall apart over the years. Um, also, the gun holsters are full pleather, nothing sculpted. Here we've got the knee guards with the blasters on them and some really good weathering. You could really tell that his armor has been through some battles. It's all scarred up and tons of pitting and scratches. Same thing with the shin guards. Look at those things. Those things are beat down. And these boots are awesome. Now you want to talk about beat down? Look at these gauntlets, man. These things have been through war. All right, it's time to get up close and personal to take a peek at the Django Fett head sculpt. Mr. Tamara Morrison himself. This head sculpt is freaking awesome. It's, that's really all I can say. I, I really love this head sculpt. So here's the problem I'm having. I don't know whether I want to display him with the helmet off like this uh, and have him hold it in his hand. Uh, do I want to display it with it on? I don't know because I really love the the Mandalorian helmets and I love posing them with blasters and stuff like that so um, I don't know I'll have to figure this out okay let's utilize the same pose and I'm gonna put the poncho on so we can take a peek at that all right see I wasn't a big fan of the poncho with the Anakin figure but it really works with this one now I have a, another problem because do I utilize this poncho on the pose and just kind of just display it exactly like this it has a nice wire on it, you can make it flow in the wind a little bit. After you all finish this video, go down in the comments and let me know what you think. Do you like the poncho? Do you not like it? Helmet on, helmet off. I'm going to look forward to that feedback because usually I just set a pose and it goes into the display and I don't really touch them. But I have a feeling with this figure, I'm going to look at it with the Mandalorian helmet on and say, Oh, but that head sculpt, let me put that on. I think this might be one of those figures that I'm just constantly changing. All right, let's do a little montage. Uh, I'm going to set up some lights and we'll get some 360 views and get some really cool shots of Django Fett. And that's a wrap for the 1-6 scale Hot Toys Django Fett figure. Thank you all so much for stopping by the channel and enjoying this figure with me. If you're not already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Click that like button and notification button. And don't forget to leave some comments below so we can all chat. And as always, be safe and kind out there in the world. See you on the next video.